Afternoon and welcome to Holy Trinity Episcopal Church in Juneau, Alaska for prayers at noonday. 
We give you thanks, O God, we give you thanks, calling upon your name and declaring all your wonderful deeds. Let us confess our sins against God. Praying together, God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves and the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and worth serve only your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. O God, be not far from us. Come quickly to help us, O God. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. O God, be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of your countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known on the water, your saving help among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For your justice peoples with equity and God of all the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Let us say this responsibly by whole verse. Why are the nations in an uproar? Why do the peoples mutter empty threats? Why do the kings of the earth rise up and revolt, and the princes fall together against the Lord and against his anointed? Let us break their yoke, they say. Let us cast off the bonds up from us. He whose throne is in heaven is laughing. The Lord has them in derision. Then he speaks to them in his wrath and his rage fills them with terror. I myself have set my king upon the holy hill of Zion. Let me announce the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. As for me, I will give the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall crush them with an iron rod and shatter them like a piece of pottery. And now, you kings, be wise, be warned, you rulers of the earth. Submit to the Lord with fear and with trembling bow before him. Let us be angry and you perish, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Happy are they all who take refuge in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, 
Go and show yourself to the priest. And as they went, they made, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, were not ten made clean and to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, get up, go your way. Your faith has made you well. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Let us take time now to name before God those for whom we offer our prayers. God the Father, who will for all people is health and salvation. We, we praise you and thank you, O God. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We, we praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We, we praise you and thank you, O Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent a knowledge of your will and awareness of your presence. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O Lord of life. Bless physicians, nurses, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear us, O Lord of life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear us, O Lord of life. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is a well of life, and in your life we see life. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make us whole. Let us pray. O Lord our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, Look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth 
as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, give your blessing to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessing to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a knowledge of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your peace and his light be a light for all to see in every good work for the good of your people and the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all that we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples, still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family of God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love, and for the sake of your glory. Watch over your all brothers and brothers and sisters of the society of St. Simeon, St. Anna. If any are in a time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in a time of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us see your service in this life, just as we will be the sons of God and the light of the life to come. I invite your intercessions and prayers at this time. Amen. Today the Church remembers Leo the Great, Bishop of Rome. O Lord our God, grant that your Church, following the teachings of your servant Leo of Rome, may hold fast the great mystery of our redemption, and adore the one Christ, true God and true man, neither divided from our human nature nor separated from your divine being, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Live without fear. Your Creator has made you holy, has always protected you, and loves you as a mother. Go in peace to follow the good road, and may God's blessing be with you always. Amen. Amen. May Christ our Redeemer bring us healing and wholeness. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you.